you know, I never made any videos about the $5 Indian because I feel like it's really self-explanatory. You know, I'm going to say it again. I said it before. A $5 Indian is just somebody that went and used, again, paperwork. Went and paid $5 for their document. You know, wrote their name on it. Got them a land grant and called themselves an Indian. You get what I'm saying? $5 Indian. It just costs a little more. Think about it. If an Indian, if the word Indian, you know, in my eyes, in my views, in the world views, think about it. We didn't call ourselves that. You know, I can't find any historical facts that we call ourselves that. I find the European using that term, just like he used the term black, Negro, colored. I find the European using all those terms. I don't find us using those terms. I never find us using the term white. You get what I'm saying? At the same time, people that's going to go file paperwork right now trying to become Indians. Trying to become Indians on paper. Trying to become Indians. Ain't that a $5 Indian? The paperwork just costs a little more now. See, back then, $5. It, let's do the math. I wish I had my. Uh, I wish I had another phone or a computer. So I can show you that $5 back then compared to right now would probably be how much they're paying for paperwork right now to become Indians. People are paying these white. People are paying this honky. Excuse me. People are paying this pale skin European to become an Indian. And they think that's right and exact. Aren't you born what you are? Aren't you born indigenous? Aren't you born aboriginal? Ain't you born original? Ain't this your ancestor's land? So what the hell I need to go put some paperwork in to, to be what I am, to be my natural self. I mean, I don't I don't know. Maybe it's greater minds than me out here. Maybe that's the way to go. I, I think self-sufficiency is the way to go. Me personally. That's just me personally.